Hey guys, welcome back to my channel once again with another new topic. So today we are going to discuss regarding hematology part two questions. So before starting the video, I would like to request you to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started with our today's part two of hematology video. So friends, our sixteenth question is: Hemoglobin levels are highest in. Option A morning, option B evening, option C afternoon, and option D night. So your right answer is option A. That is morning. Hemoglobin levels are highest in morning. Moving on to our seventeenth question. The volume of red cells expressed as a percentage of the volume of the whole blood sample is known as option A hematocrit. Which is also called as PCV, that is packed cell volume. Option B, erythrocytosis. Option C, hemoglobin, and option D, all of the above. So the right answer is answer A, hematocrit. Moving on to our eighteenth question. The methods used to estimate packed cell volume are option A, Winthrop's methods. Option B, micro hematocrit capillaries. Option C, both A and B, and option D, none of the above. So they are asking the different manual methods which are uh, used for the estimation of packed cell volume. Okay, friends. So the right answer is answer C. That is both A and B. We are using Winthrop's method and also micro hematocrit capillary method for the estimation of packed cell volume, which is also called as hematocrit. Moving on to our nineteenth question. To estimate PCV, packed cell volume, Winthrop tube has to be centrifuged for option A, fifteen minutes at Three thousand five hundred RPM. Option B, thirty minutes at thirty-five thousand RPM. Option C, one minute at thirty-five hundred RPM. Option D, one hour at fifteen hundred RPM. So the right answer is answer A, for fifteen minutes at thirty-five hundred RPM. Moving on to our twentieth question. Total white cell count is the estimation of total number of WBCs in. So, what is the unit we are gi giving for a WBC count? They are asking. So, option A cubic millimeter, option B cubic micrometer, option C millimeter, and option D none. So, the right answer is answer C. Answer A that is cubic millimeter. So, the total white cell count is uh, for the WBCs we are giving it as a cubic. Millimeter. Moving on to our twenty-one question. Low total count is termed as option A leukopenia, option B leukocytosis, option C hypercytosis, option D hypocytosis. So the right answer is answer A low count na. So we are calling it as option A leukopenia. Moving to our twenty-second question. Newbarth chamber has an area of. Option A nine square per mm. Option B ten square per mm. Option C twenty square per mm. Option D fifteen square per mm. So the right answer is answer A nine square per mm. Moving to our twenty third question. Low platelet count is termed as. Option A thrombocytopenia. Option B thrombocytosis. Option C hypercytosis and option D hypocytosis. So, if you are getting the low platelet count than the normal level, so we are uh, giving the term it as what option A that is thrombocytopenia. Low count of platelet we are calling it as thrombocytopenia. If it is higher than the normal level of the platelets, if they are in high number, we are terming it as a thrombocytosis. Okay, friends. Moving on to twenty fourth question. Name the erythrocyte indices. What do you mean by erythrocyte may indices? Option A, MCV. Option B, MCH. Option C, MCHC. And option D, all. So erythrocyte indices means uh, answer D, all. That is MCV, MCH, and MCHC. So these three are very important, friends. In uh, defining the types of anemia we are causing, so MCV, MCH, and MCHC are very important in the studies of different kinds of anemias. Also, moving to our twenty-fifth question, MCV is raised in option A macrocytic anemia, option B microcytic anemia, option C normocytic anemia, and option D dimorphic anemia. So the right answer is answer A macrocytic 
anemias friends these kinds of anemias we'll be discussing uh, when we start our small lectures on every topics so there you will come to know what is macrocytic anemia microcytic anemia and normal site normal cytic anemia so here the mcv value is raised in what kind of anemia macrocytic anemia moving to our 26th question low mcv is found in option a macrocytic anemia option b microcytic anemia option c normocytic anemia and option d dimorphic anemia so the right answer is low mcv it is found option b microcytic anemias moving to our 27th question low mchc is found in option a macrocytic anemia option b hereditary ovalocytosis option c hypochromic anemia and option d dimorphic anemia so the right answer is answer c hypochromic anemia hypochromic means they are having uh, the uh, change of the change in the color of these rbcs will be less hypochromic means the color will be less than the normal level okay moving to our 28th question what are the methods used for esr estimation option a western grains method option b windrobes method option c zeta sedimentation rate and option d micro sedimentation option e all so the right answer is answer e that is all of the all of these uh, different kinds of methods are used for the estimation of esr estimation that is erythrocytic sedimentation rate estimation moving to our 29th question esr estimation help in the diagnosis of what why we are doing actually the esr sedimentation so the right uh, so the options are option a organic disease option b to follow course of disease option c prognostic tool option d diagnostic criterion and option e all so the right answer is answer e all these are all the criteria why we are we use to estimate the esr estimation for the diagnosis okay moving to our 30th question low esr is seen in if the esr level is low what are the condition where the esr can be seen in low option a newborn infants option b polycythemia option c congestive heart failure option d allergic state option e sickle cell anemia and option f all so the right answer is answer f all low esr is seen in all this type of situation this like newborn infants polycythemia congestive heart failure allergic state sickle cell anemias these are all the reason behind the low esr okay friends so these are the part 2 from hematological part hope you like it keep supporting me like like share and subscribe to my channel thank you friends